teachers need as much practice doing the teaching skill as our students need learning the academic skill. But in a classroom of real students, the students get bored or they act out, they don't want to do it more than one time, so some teachers can get that repeated practice in the lab that they can't get in a regular classroom. And as you enter the classroom, you can see here that we have a screen, just a nice large TV screen, and the teachers walk into the simulator. The first thing they do is they do a goalpost pose using our new Connect system that allows us to move backwards and forwards to the students in the environment. The teachers then wear a microphone and they talk very naturally in the environment to our student avatars. Our teachers are doing what we call virtual rehearsal. They can start, they can stop, they can pause, they can try again and not make the same mistake over and over again, hopefully, without harming any real children in the process. My lab is always open for anybody to come in. I mean, within reason, but uh, we're demoing all the time and we demo to children in middle school and elementary school and then occasionally we let adults in. Then we got a really gem when Lisa and Mike Kynes came in the lab and looked at what we were doing and the question was, can you use this? Can you give me a classroom that my teachers in preparation can rehearse? I didn't hear you. Good morning. Good morning. I thought maybe you were still sleeping, CJ. No, texting. Oh, uh, yeah, I heard your phone going off a lot. You're really popular. <laughs> what could I say? I know. Well, you know, when you got it, you got it. It can be really intimidating to walk into a classroom for the first time and feel responsible for those students and feel like you need to, everything needs to go smoothly. The first time that I got in the Teach Live environment, my mind was absolutely blown. It was, um, it's amazing how quickly you go from thinking it's a computer screen, a TV screen, to feeling like you're actually in front of a class. I think you should. And can you also answer my next question for me? Yeah. Awesome. So if I wanted to save money, okay, and I wanted to get something free when I bought something else, what would I need? Yes, Sean. What we've got is an instrument to assess how well teachers are implementing evidence-based practices and uh, then we are able to provide them with feedback and then we work with them on coaching the areas where they need the most assistance. And so some of the target areas are perfect for practicing over and over. It's great for both the teachers and for the students. The culture today with technology and everybody's so comfortable with that kind of online um, interaction, you very quickly just start working with them as if they were real students in the lab. It's a fabulous environment to practice all kinds of skills for teacher training. People of all ages learn better using games. I think it certainly leads to higher engagement and if you're more engaged you're going to be retaining more and, and that hopefully will translate to our students. We're thrilled today that you're here to see our Teach Live, um, the only virtual simulator in teacher education that we know of in the United States. We're excited that we have 23 universities partnering from California to New York to the United Arab Emirates in the work that we're doing in Teach Live. We've done a great deal of research uh, within our own university and across partnership universities. We've compared micro teaching to actual teaching in Teach Live, where teachers practice with each other on lessons. And what we found in that particular study is the teachers, when they went in to Teach Live, stopped caring about writing better lesson objectives and started caring about kids meeting those objectives. And the outcome we keep seeing over and over again is teacher improvement in a very compressed professional development time.